been, you know, wondering where we're at and what's going on and everything. Uh, unfortunately, my mom had some really bad health issues and over the last month and a half, I, I had to take care of her. And everybody did, a lot of people stepped up and unfortunately went in the hospital, came out of the hospital, went home on hospice and spent every day taking care of her until unfortunately she passed away. Sorry, so <laughs> I, you know, stopped making videos for a minute because that's, that's what we needed to do and family comes first. And, and it's kind of crazy that the first event that we're going to back after this is one of the best videos I have or memories of her uh, recent is when she was sitting right here in the pasture seat. inside and get into the thing for the girls race but we're trying getting there if i get april to run that'd be even better what said so if i get you to run that'd be even better oh, probably not probably not not today they remain it maybe i don't know tires are set though Just gotta go get that win now a few minutes to spare maybe i think cars got a couple cars here we might be racing so Otherwise, well, I think Clyde's, Clyde's ready to go. We haven't done anything to him, so that means he's, he's perfect. So. <laughs> All right, ready to do it? Yeah. We don't know if it's going to be arm drop or off the line or what, but we got our toe hitch and so far we're ready it's to not make a much pass. of a match. But we'll find out. You never know. All sleepers out there like Clyde, people don't know what to do. 
will see. Huh? He said, we will see. Yep. We just got done with the driver's meeting. We made it, thank goodness. And we get one test pass, so I think we're ready to go. Just waiting for a few more, and then we'll, we're gonna rip this thing. Hi. Sorry. No, you're good, thanks. You ready to make a hit? I feel pretty rusty. I know, it's been so long since we've raced this thing, but well, Clyde's a, uh, you know, just all tried and true, usually pretty pretty solid vehicle, so pretty easy to drive. We just Can't need necessarily the... say consistent, but. Usually, last year we forgot to bring the radials. We got the radials, I set tire pressure, we hope that it hooks, and uh, just gonna, gonna see what happens. They don't have like a water box up here or anything, so there's no water to do a burnout, and Clyde just wants to like push through if it doesn't, so pretty much just roll up through each pass and just hit it, and no real burnouts or anything. Game plan is to try to win, but either way, there's a lot of cool cars. What's neat about this, such random, like a Mazda with a Gen 5 LT, big tire, second gen Camaro. That's a road runner? Mustang over here, yeah. A little bit of everything. So it looks like for first round we got this beautiful hey, Mustang. Name? Man, that thing is super, super Shinchi. pretty. So cool car. Right, baby. Really? You guys get it on. Have fun. What's your name? April. April, you guys get it on. Change them up. Rock and roll. <laughs> that should be your second. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Test pass. week and 
Well, as you guys can see right there, the filter is actually not terrible. On race week, when it went out on us, it was full of dirt all through the whole bottom. You could almost not even see in it, but I mean, the filter looks all right. So I don't know what the heck we have going on with this thing. I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's mad. This thing's pretty sick. Uh, old El Camino that's converted into like a camper. Just love the stuff that's different. This is definitely, definitely different. I was wrong. A Mercury Monterey is what it, I guess, started out as. That's so cool, but they got power and everything. So if they actually stand in this thing, that's that's freaking badass. Close the door if you want to on the outside. Good matter. All good. Oh, see, nice little bed set up. Guys, real cool. Let me come inside, check it out, get a little closer look at it. But quite the little setup. <laughs> so you started with a st regular car. I, so I can't take credit for the initial build. Yeah, it was built in the late '60s. Oh, really? Okay. And um, I found it in a junkyard. Nice. And the, the owner of the junkyard started doing some stuff just to get it running. Yeah. But he didn't do anything on the inside. There was no door. And it sat for like 20 something years. Wow, that's cool. Uh, oh, one of those ones you see in a junkyard, just like, ah, oh, it'd be so cool to do something with. And absolutely. Then, I was there yeah. for other parts, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm buying that. No, so, that's um, awesome. all of the structure that you see, that's all that was what the car was made something with. Something was built like that. And huh? on, all my wife and I did was just, just paint it on the inside. Yeah. Made some curtains. I cleaned up, I, well, basically just cleaned it up. Sure. Cleaned it up and changed a couple things. I slammed the shit out of it, obviously, put the wheels and tires on. Yeah. Um, so the cabinets and everything, that's all from when it was originally. Was originally yeah, built. that's cool. Yeah, from the late 60s. Nice. Well, cool. I appreciate you letting me check it out. Oh, man. for sure, man. It's always cool being able to check out things like that. That's just such a different, unique build. You'll probably never see another one of those like that. That's what's really cool about something, something like that. But he still brought it out, still enjoyed it. It doesn't even run and drive down the road yet. There's cars that you think of like one purpose that I would love to have this thing for. Taking it to Vegas and cruising the strip would be, would be my use for that car. I mean, a lot of other things, but like just picture yourself cruising out that thing in the strip. Cruising down the strip in this thing? Yeah, let me see.
you. So here is the big burnout pit here at PPIR. Really, this event is set up for free, like 76 cars and something, 72 trucks or something like that. But I talked to them, they're doing a burnout exhibition and I might be able to get the burnout truck in here. Bernie's been sitting in the trailer for a little while, but I mean, this is a pretty big pad. It would be fun to come rip it. So we might go throw some tires on the rims in the morning and bring Bernie back tomorrow to do some big burnouts, but we'll find out. Otherwise, just hanging out tonight, cruising around. Everything's kind of slowing down with this cool event. People can camp here, hang out all night. We've got bands and all that stuff going on. It's pretty cool. They have propane tanks and gasoline time to it, and then they can shoot off flamethrower stuff. So they do a little show with different cars and everything. It's pretty sick. All right, day two of the Hot Rod Rock and Rumble, and we're working on Clyde like it's race week, but in the garage, I guess. So last night on our way home, we ripped Clyde like three times, zero issues. So I don't know if it's a heat issue, a fuel pump issue, maybe a fuel pump with heat issue. I'm not sure. So I'm actually trying to pop the filter and pump. Probably put just a brand new one on because I have a spare from race week, and I'll just try that. Hopefully everything's good. Uh, usually, if you have an issue once, it's going to pop back up. Usually cars don't fix themselves, so throw a couple new things on then if it pops up again we know it's not uh fuel pump or fuel filter related at least so as you guys can see the fuel filter looks just fine i mean i don't even know if i should really change it i really don't need to uh also this one only has like maybe 2,000 miles on it. it's hardly got any miles on it if that and it looks perfectly fine the fuel pump has been getting a little bit louder it's just an inline wall barrel 255 so i have a spare one uh, i'll just go ahead and hook that up throw it on and maybe we just try that take a fuel filter with me if i think i need to change it but i honestly don't think i need to change it i'm right here though i just got to run to the parts store if i decide to put a new one on let's go with the what can go wrong will go wrong while later got to the last step of hooking up the fuel pump and i need to rotate the ground uh ground wire just a little bit and snapped off the lug so should be like this uh but it snapped it off so i've now ground it out i checked you can't ground to the case or anything so I drilled it out. I tried to cut it to back it out, see if I could swap it with the other one, but uh, no go. So, ground it out right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put this wire down in there, see if I can solder it together, and run it as a hard wire. There you go, soldered up. Not pretty, but I think it's gonna work. I'll uh, slide a little piece of heat shrink right over this, and then we should be hopefully good to go. There we go, hardware it in. That ain't going nowhere. All right, new pump is in place. Let's fire this thing up. See what we got. I need to clean the shop out. Oof. Made it up here to PPIR. We're out back. We gotta drop everything off. They have an awesome burnout thing. And old Bernie, that's what he does is burnout. So we're going to get Bernie unloaded, get him inside, and put on a show for everybody with this thing. Alright, so we got Bernie out. We're gonna head on in. Mine's ready to go. We just need our cooler with some cold drinks.
apply its back, see if it runs right or not. <laughs> Shotgun, now it's fire well on for the ride. <laughs> you're gonna have like you're gonna hold us. You guys are gonna hold me back with all this weight. Yep. <laughs> traction though. Traction. Oh true, traction. Year, this thing is just not happy, but I don't know. At least it's running. We're winning, kind of. They're starting to catch us, but so I just out the hole got it. That thing would be crazy if I had a locked axle in the back where it could get them both spinning. the QA1s are full tight. So I think we're halfway, so now we'll go compression. Just gonna lock them all the way down, full tight. Compression and rebound. Well, I might have loosened them up going down the highway. Is what I think I did. Lock these down.
So I've seen some videos of you guys getting serious doing burnouts and this all over the country. Yeah, yeah, Florida, Indy, I mean, we've been all over. Colorado, yeah. All right, so, but you're gonna show them how it's done a hot ride, rock and rumble? Absolutely. Do you wanna plug anybody? All right, if you guys wanna follow more on the truck, just uh, Bill Coon Race on YouTube, appreciate it. There you go, all right, let's see what Bill Coon Race has to show us. Make sure nobody, nobody behind the truck on the tip end. Just make sure everything's kind of cleared. Huge tip in coming. <laughs> whoop, whoop. This is like the biggest pack. Oh, you're clear. Thank you. Would you say that this is like the biggest pad that we've really done it's a pretty big, but it's perfectly round, which is yeah. weird. We'll see how it does. Yeah. All these people. The nitrous is on. The nitrous is on. Yep, ready? Ready. Calm it down. Flip it down.
Fifty for third. So we'll see. They brought us all out. They're gonna do a big boat and everything with all these cars that did. Hey, that's enough for gas. Try to hopefully get a win here. That's a fifty for first place. We'll pay for a tire. Pay for, pay for the tires. Maybe an extra. Right, so, uh, so uh, uh, guys, it's okay, super exciting. The truck did amazing again. All right, brother. Hey, James Shower. James in the purpose build, right? Yeah, yeah. Is that fair to say? Yep, no, 100%. All right, purpose build S10 did some burnouts. Let's hear it for this guy. We got our Jaguar to get ready, and uh, next year this would be perfect for a Jag. We'll make a plan to try to come win it with her car. All right, everyone, after that last clip that you saw, we decided to get the heck out of there. The rain was starting to roll in, but otherwise, Clyde is back, Bernie's back, and we'll be back with a whole bunch more videos. I appreciate everyone for watching. I appreciate the support. Thank you so, so much, and we'll see you in the next video.